Thank you for tuning in to this better FAQ video. We're talking about convertible notes and safes, which are a version of convertible notes. So let's start with the convertible note, then we'll get to the safe. The convertible note is a type of way to give out equity, but it is more so a promise to give out equity in the future or pay back the investment. So if we zoom out for a second, when I'm talking about investment, I am talking about a private company giving ownership to someone outside of the company for money. That person that's outside of the company invests money, they receive ownership, they become an owner in that company, an investor in that company. And with a convertible note, it's a little bit different. The reason that it's called a convertible note is it is actually a little bit like debt. So like a promissory note is where the note comes from, but it can convert into equity. So convertible note. <clears throat> the reason for this is that what you can do is give someone a convertible note in exchange for the money that they're giving you to invest, and it is going to be debt on your books until a later date if or when that convertible note converts into equity, thus becoming ownership for that person that invested the money. Now, these convertible notes are typically going to be something that has a trigger. The trigger is what causes the conversion. Usually the trigger is going to be doing a round of fundraising, so more investment, usually like a Series A or even maybe a seed round of investment. Uh, sometimes it could be going public, that could be the trigger. Uh, things like that, getting acquired, more than 50% of your company getting acquired, those things are typically going to be the triggers that convert that person's loan into equity, into ownership. Now, this is an interesting tool because you usually can do less of the securities offering compliance with the investment at the time they give you the money. And there's a lot of compliance that goes into all types of investing. And so when I say here that you can do less, it doesn't mean that you do none. It means that you can do less of the compliance and the securities sort of exemption analysis and filings with the uh, SEC and with your state. You can do less of that with a convertible note because it's debt and maybe becomes equity later. Now, the downside to this is that it can look like debt on your books. And so when you go to do that other round of fundraising later on, typically debt is very unappealing to investors. They don't want to see debt on your books. Convertible notes, a little bit different because they can convert into equity and then it's no longer debt. That debt is gone. But sometimes it can be a turnoff to investors to see that debt on your books, which is where the safe comes in. The SAFE stands for Simple Agreement for Future Equity. It is similar to a convertible note in that someone gives you money, you give them the SAFE, and they do not actually receive any equity or ownership at that time. But, similar to a convertible note, it has a trigger that will convert that SAFE into equity at a later date. Similar triggers, typically acquisition, going public, doing another round of fundraising like a Series A. So. The difference between these two is that the safe will not look like debt on your books, as a convertible note will. So, important to remember that there is a difference there, and it can make a difference in the future for investments. Now, when you think about these two, the convertible note is more favorable to the investor, because they will get paid back like a debt if that trigger event does not happen. And that's very important to clarify here, is that with a convertible note, they will be paid back like a loan if they do not convert into equity. With a safe, that's not the case. So a safe is more beneficial to the company because if that trigger event never happens, that person that invested through the safe gets nothing. They invested money and they get nothing. And that is the risk that they have to take with the safe, which is why that is clearly more advantageous for the company because you don't have anybody that is going to be collecting a debt from you that you have to pay back. Now, the big overall benefit to both of these instruments is in the idea that they don't get equity right up front. Because if you do give someone ownership and equity right up front, they then are a shareholder if you're a corporation or a member if you're an LLC, and that means that they have voting rights. It means that they are entitled to participate in meetings, shareholder meetings, member meetings. It is another cook in your kitchen. And so with these convertible instruments, they don't have that ownership until if or when that thing converts later. So that means no more cooks in the kitchen in that interim period of time. So convertible note, 
can be debt on your books, can convert into equity later, with a safe, no debt, can convert into equity later, or that person can lose their investment. Now, there are aspects of these instruments that are very confusing, called a discount rate and a valuation cap. They are pretty similar, they're a little bit different, they're a little bit confusing to explain. We're gonna give it a go, hopefully it's helpful. With a discount rate, let's say someone invests, you give them a safe, and they want a discount rate, and they want a discount rate of 80, 80%. <clears throat> that actually is going to be a 20% discount. And you're like, what, discount of what? So what that does is that at that trigger date later, so they got a safe, and let's say they invested $100, because it's an easy number to do the math on, and I went to law school, not math school. So they invested $100. And at that later date, you do a, a, another round of fundraising. You do a Series A, which converts the safe into equity. The discount rate, if it's at 80, which is a 20% discount, I know that's silly, but that's how it is notated on the notes. You would put 80 for a 20% discount. And th that would mean that the discount rate is 80%. And for the 20% discount of that 80% discount rate, what would end up happening is, let's say at that time that they convert, when you do that Series A, the valuation of your company is $1 per share. And that could mean that your company's worth $10 million. We don't know how many shares you have. We're not gonna get into that here. But let's say per share, $1. Well, they have an 80% discount rate, a 20% discount. That means that whatever amount of money they invested will be applied to shares with a 20% discount. So just for the sake of this conversation, let's say that they are going to receive 100 shares at the $1 per share rate. Well, they have a 20% discount. So their money goes further. They get all of those shares at 80 cents on the dollar, which means they actually get more shares. They get more than 100 shares because they're getting them at that discount. And however far their money goes with that discount is how many shares they get. Now, there's a valuation cap as well that I mentioned. A valuation cap acts in the same way to reduce sort of the, uh, the value of the equity they get so that their dollars go further and they get more equity with the money that they invested. And the reasoning here is because they invested early and took a huge risk, especially with a safe, that they may not get paid back. And so they're being rewarded with these discounts and these valuation caps. Now for the valuation cap, the way that it works is let's say that you took investment, same kind of scenario, and the valuation cap is $1 million. Well, in that previous example, I said maybe your company's worth $10 million. Well, if you have a valuation cap of $1 million, the value of the shares that they will get for their investment is capped at the $1 million valuation. So using these same numbers, 1 million and the 10 million, that means that's 10% of 10 million, and that means that they would get their shares at 10% of the value that the investors in the Series A got their shares at which means obviously their $100, if we're using that same example, will go much further when it's 10 cents per share rather than a dollar per share. So the, the valuation cap, very similar, gives you a discount on the value of the ownership that you receive when it converts, but it's based on the valuation of the company rather than just discounting each per share value. So they act in the same way, basically have the same effect, but they're a little bit different, and that's why sometimes you'll see both of them included with a safe or some type of convertible note where it's the valuation cap and the discount rate and it's whichever one is more favorable to that investor, that safe holder or note holder, that's the one that you will use. And that is again that reward for them for investing early and now they get a discount later on their ownership if they convert under their note or their safe. Hopefully this was helpful, kind of confusing but a really valuable tool and a really good tool to use for investment for all of these reasons. and more favorable to the company. So as someone that represents companies most often, I like it. Hope this was helpful. Have a good one.